The Gordie Howe International Bridge is a six-lane crossing of the Detroit River connecting the city of Detroit with Windsor, Ontario. When completed, the 1.5-mile crossing will be the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America with a main span of 0.53 mile. The bridge will also feature a nearly 12 feet wide pedestrian cycling path. The project also includes building new ports of entry that will connect to both the American and Canadian bridge termini, as well as onward connections to I-75 in southwest Detroit. The new Canadian port of entry will be built on a 130-acre site and will be the largest Canadian port on the U.S.-Canadian border. It will include inbound border inspection facilities for both passenger and commercial vehicles, outbound inspection facilities, toll collection facilities, a maintenance facility, and parking. The U.S. port of entry will be developed on a 167-acre site and will be one of the largest border facilities in North America. It will include inbound border inspection facilities for both passenger and commercial vehicles, together with outbound inspection facilities, commercial exit control booths, and parking. The Michigan interchange with I-75 will include connecting ramps to and from the U.S. port of entry and associated local road improvements. In order to accommodate the new ramps to the port of entry, modifications will be required along nearly two miles of I-75. They will include over a dozen roadway and pedestrian bridges ranging from 100 to 1, 700 feet. The Windsor-Detroit Gateway, which currently includes the Ambassador Bridge and the Detroit-Windsor Tunnel, is the busiest commercial land border crossing between Canada and the U.S. and is vital to the economies of Michigan and Ontario, as well as Canada and the United States. The Gordie Howe International Bridge will facilitate the movement of people, goods, and services and ensure that there is sufficient border crossing capacity to accommodate future growth in cross-border trade and traffic. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is being developed by the Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority a not-for-profit crown corporation created in 2012 that reports to the Canadian Parliament through the Minister of Infrastructure and Communities. WDBA is wholly owned by the Government of Canada but is structured like a private company and operates independently from the government. WDBA is responsible for the delivery of the bridge, as well as construction oversight and the operation of the new crossing. WDBA will set toll rates on the bridge and collect all tolls. The bridge is being implemented through a 36-year design build finance operate maintain availability payment concession. WDBAS payments to the private sector concessionaire, bridging North America, are performance-based and can be withheld by WDBA if they agree to performance standards are not met. It is anticipated that of the $4.4 billion contract, $2.9 billion will be allocated for the design build phase, including financing and the remaining $1.5 billion for the operations maintenance rehabilitation phase including financing. Construction began October 5, 2018. A six-year construction period will be followed by a 30-year operation, maintenance and rehabilitation period. The bridge is scheduled to open by November 30, 2024. Project cost $4.41 billion. Design build contract $2.68 billion. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is financed in Canadian dollars. Once complete, the new bridge will provide additional capacity to increase trade between Canada and the United States, system connectivity, improved border processing and capacity. In your opinion, will the project be the largest in the United States and will it be completed on time? Share your opinion with us in the comments. And here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.